Where's Millar? Smith. Is he zooming or is he Timmy Smith? Uh, he will be here at like 8.15, he said. Oh, so we might be down there. Yeah, <laughs> had, uh, so let's move this along. Softball or some sort of sporting. So he, he I spoke be. with him yesterday, so we're fine. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, may I have a for your permission? Yep, I already gave it to you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank yep. you for meeting. Thank you. Who is this? Northwest Access. So yes, Tim, Tim will be here. If we're still here. If we're still here. Um, just, just like you got the trailer party, and they're coming from uh, Central Trailers of New Hampshire. How much? Uh, $6,900. $6,900 for a 24 voter? 22, 22. Feel bad. Feel bad. And we would say 59? 69. 69? Yes. We just we got a market on the east one. 24 for five. Oh. Five random. Yes. There's no need. Lady, lady just took it to church on Sunday. Yeah, there's no need for me to buy one up for everybody around me. <laughs> <laughs> Money to the basket Yeah, exactly.
COVID stuff and us not being able to use it for town meeting day, I just, you know, if we need a location, it's better mm -hmm. to have one that you can just, yeah, you know that you can go that to. That you can be in charge of. Correct. So that was it for the emergency management plan. Everything else stayed the same. You know, we, we bought a new highway truck, but we got rid of one, so the number of vehicles, mm -hmm. everything else stayed the same. They're very predictable. Yes. Which is okay. So that's all I have under that one. Okay. Communication Union District. So this is for the CUD. Um, they got formed, so the Northwest Communications Union District was formed um, last year with Fairfield um, having part in it. We're allowed one representative and two alternates currently I'm serving. They did serve previously as the representative. So we just need to, this goes from tomorrow until the end of April 22. Did you enjoy serving on, in that? I'll be honest, a lot of meeting times conflicted with another meeting I had, so I haven't been able to attend as many as I would like. So, uh, so you need to dump that other meeting then. <laughs> Why don't we just try it again? That's probably the best one. Why don't we try it again and see if you can... Uh, so I'm fine with being a representative. It wouldn't hurt to... I tried. I put it out there on Front Porch Forum and online to see if I could get any alternates, and there seemed to be zero interest. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess it, it might make sense for a select board member to be an alternate or to try to reach back out to the community. Charlie likes to run his mouth, maybe, because it's a form of communication. Let's make Charlie the alternate. <laughs> I'll make a motion. We make Chuck our alternate. A second. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, meeting. We all in our favor? So, yes. Yeah, it must be done. Where's he getting along? <laughs> what days are the meetings? They were doing bi weekly on Tuesdays. Now it's gone to once a month on um, the first Tuesday of the month. Can't do it. <clears throat> so are they supposed to get a bunch of money under Joel sending them? Infrastructure stuff on that. Oh, thank you. So this, so yeah, so they can apply to grants. Their main focus is on the towns that members, that municipal members are a part of, that they focus on that. So um, through this whole COVID and all the relief funding, they have been given a lot of money to, to look at broadband and look at access in these regions. So I, I certainly think it's a good thing. You could um, just take the money and start expanding it. Because well, they're looking at acts, not each individual provider, but overall access is, is their concern. Where mm -hmm. uh, you know each individual broadband is going to look at. Some of them are looking at profit for their own company, but they're looking at just access in general. Well, I saw Vermont Electric had said they're going to allow. They were going to do something with their poles, so that it'd be easier to get on them with broadband. And they figured, I don't, I don't understand what it was, but it's going to cost them a half a million bucks. Cost Vermont Electric. Vermont Electric was something they were doing to get this whole broadband thing up and running. So they figured they're in spots that are hard to get to already. So. Yeah, I mean, it's phenomenal what they get for a pull rental. Mm -hmm. You know, like CB, I think, although I think now they kind of switch off and on. So it's yeah. probably what some of the half million is too, is it's access to their pool, maybe. But, yeah. Gonna hook onto a pole somewhere. Is what I know. Like those guys, if they switch back and forth. It, I mean, it's unbelievable what they. So 
was the most sustainable. Uh, yeah. The yeah. humans down there go with stoves on sale because they changed yeah. the efficiency rating to 75 or 77. Mm -hmm. The ones that got are 73, the company say sell them at cost. Oh, yeah. Because they, they won't qualify for all this oh. stuff. If the number gets high enough, there's a rebate on those two efficiencies. So if the number gets high enough, there's a rebate yeah. on those from the You know, they go from this eight or nine thousand dollars for the cell, which heats as much as this twenty five hundred dollars for those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those gets twenty five percent, but you're still paying What's the extra for it. But two or three percent difference in like that. Oh, yeah, I think they close it. Because my oil firm is still pretty right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well ours is the oil price is like forty years old. So, but we only run a tank of fuel for every two years. That so. surprises me somehow not with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cindy's got to get better cut more. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. Same so, yeah. as mine. Well, I know like over there is a lot of that opens. I'm still downstairs. So it's dry work clothes and boots and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, yeah. And heat the cellar. You know, I finished foaming that cellar too. Okay, well. Not that you know. Annual appointments. So that's what well, I was just asking, Dave. So we just need to verify that the contacts for the Regional Planning Commission are accurate. Um, I just updated Dave's contacts. Um, they had James Constantino still on the Planning Commission, so I took that off. Uh, but this. Why did you get that? Too busy with work. Yeah. You're on one of those boards, right? Mo's on tack. He's a Mo's on tack, and I'm the alternate for that. Um, Alicia and Brian are our representatives to the commission. Um, so these are all all just one year updating contacts. Going or the other, or those people are going. They do participate, yeah. They're actually very active. That's Brian Duros. Um, Brian Duby. Oh. oh, yeah. And they both have expressed expressed interest in staying on the board. Yeah, was it Brian just tuned to back, give us a report once in a while? I mean, as your representatives, yes, they. I mean, they meet monthly as well as the board. Um, but yes, I so certainly, you know, as the the planning commission representatives, they should be. Doing this I'll make a motion that we accept the same nominees. Yeah, I'll start with it. <laughs> but maybe we could have an update on occasion from. That would be a bad idea. I thought when we came for the other time. That's what I thought too. Yeah, he was good on. I mean, he just he used to get. A, I don't even get a letter from him anymore. He used to get a. Yeah, he's got a newsletter. Yeah, yeah. Is COVID, you know. Like, uh, uh -huh. Is that something Jonathan like you could put on the agenda? Yeah. Once a quarter, where some of these committees. Well, if they do something, maybe they could let us know. Something. <clears throat> right. Well, you know, they send, it, send something a letter, or somebody comes in. Just, yeah. There's a lot of this stuff that. We find out about after the fact. Yeah. Well, I would think, especially this year, there could be money floating around to different things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would be worth you making a list of people like that that we should hear from, and then yeah. when you do that, just put yeah. together and uh, absolutely. Be nice to ask for a quarterly or by whatever. Okay. Report of some sort. Okay. Or just a letter. You know, yeah, yeah. That's not yeah, they would not be in person. They could just yep. maybe after every meeting they could just drop us a note of what what went on. Sounds great. That's a great idea. Not that we're really, you know, that was shows that we're at least interested. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> we're gonna have Dave make himself important. He's got a red pen. Oh, he Jonathan knows. knows he's supposed to have a pen for me at every meeting. Oh. This is only for us. So. Those all of John? Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Sorry, man. Yeah. A private lane request? So the, 
There's no one here tonight. Um, they reached out to ask to be on the agenda. So this is for um, the private driveway on, off of Swamp Road by the cemetery. And their request was to turn it into a private lane. Um, was that people sitting on a gelt? No, that's, that was James. So I, I'll add this to the next agenda and I'll just reach back out to them. But that's kind of for your knowledge what it is, is that they're wondering how to turn that driveway into a road. What is it, partway it's down to the cemetery? Is that how it goes? I don't know the answer to that, but that's something that... Well, we got to maintain it right away to that cemetery. Yeah. yeah when we're figuring this out... We'll if he thinks that, that he owns the whole thing, yeah. maybe it wasn't noted on his deed. That right. I guess that back to the That Seoul Cemetery will run off the swamp road. Remember we got Bill Hannon to put it all out the grid and all that. It's all laid out the bottom one below. Deal yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. And I, if I remember right, these ones are, well, they want the town to do this or that to it or something. Right. It's a, I think, if I'm not looking it up, but I think it's a deeded right away to the cemetery. He so, recently did a fair upgrade to the road. Yeah. Like laid down a bunch of gravel, and he did the whole thing. Not right. But I mean, that's his choice. But I'm pretty sure that's a deeded right away to that cemetery. You gotta have some right away to get into that cemetery. Yeah. I'll work with Linda tomorrow and see what you can establish. See what I can dig up on the deeds. Because I know <coughs> Bill had spent quite a bit of time when he was laying out those plots. I went over them once or twice. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, let me, I'll dig into it with Linda and see what we can find and maybe we can, yeah. Um, but they had asked her, they had asked about it and wanted to know. What the process was, and I said, "Let me add you to the meeting. You come to talk to the select board." And uh, so, let me—I'll I'll add them to the next meeting, and we'll see if we can right. get. Then we'll have our own information. Maybe you should make it two meetings, so we have our own information to discuss and figure it out. But I'm pretty sure. You, well, one thing you got to have a right way into that mm -hmm. cemetery. You get sold lots of them. Mm -hmm. so, sounds good. You're going to sign out with Jonathan, my witness? Sure. Please. So the VTRANS came out with a new road and bridge standards in 2019, um, and this is just, and what is the date here? So the select board adopted them July 8th of 2019, and this is just an annual form saying that we're still um, abiding by those. What would that get us more, baby? So this has to be current to apply for the VTrans district grant. So that includes the two grants that we just applied for on Chester Arthur Road for paving and North Road for um, the culvert, as well as this is another requirement in the FEMA public assistance funding. Oh, that's FEMA funding. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. So that's we just have to readopt it and say that we're um, that we are meeting the. Of it. And that's, that's it. So we have to make a motion or just sign a paper? No, I thought you were done. <laughs> so you're just saying that that we are meeting the standards <laughs> that we did adopt. So you, you don't have to read so off the standards, you just have to say that you are meeting the standards. So we have to do it as a motion? I would do it as a motion. Yeah. And I'll make a motion we keep with the standards we adopted. I'll say it back. Thank you. No amendments we need to do to that. Uh, okay. All those in favor? <coughs> Any other sure. business? Uh, approval of the minutes? Uh, we can watch them approve the minutes. Uh, Mayor, comments? Should we include the mayor that we wanted uh, two groups to have a uh, agreement? 
who's subletting to who, who's using what open air before they got carried away. School and the wreck and the... Yeah, between the wreck and the start. I was going to say, wasn't Chuck supposed to come back with some stuff tonight? Yeah. He's in mass till 9 o'clock, I talked to him. So we'll add, add it to next meeting. Because we should wait till the next meeting before we go that part of it. So add common school, like, please agree with Right, we can talk about them. Yeah. Just between the two of them, who gets one room, who gets the other, because you have to change. And... Mm. Okay. Was there any, did you, how did you guys make out with the health officer looking into who's going to do what? Or... So I emailed the LCT and have not heard back yet. That's why I, as far as I've done, excuse me. Melissa did forward me the emails between her and the state fire marshal's office, and they've been involved in there. They've gone and looked at it, and uh, they took a meter in with them. The uh, original one or the one from this week? The one from last oh, month? Oh, we the about? one from last month. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, if this moving forward, you're going to call somebody before you get stuck yeah. in something like that? Yeah. Even if it's benign, simple, I yeah, know. yeah, you told me. I listen. No, I, I just, I, I don't want you to get another. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take one of your drivers to the Yeah, yeah. Don't be worried about them. Any other errors, questions, or thought, comments? No. Yeah. Somebody want to second that? Sure. Mm -hmm. You got the trailer though. Yeah. That's the idea that I'm going to get. What did you decide on the greater tires model? Did that help stop? No. 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 You want to do all six, or do you want to just do the front? The front, front shot. There's nothing left for them in the back here. Very long. Mm -hmm. Is it a big deal to calibrate and get through the summer and put new skins on in the fall, or is it? Well, no way sounds and tough as a game. You can do it. Probably four or five hundred dollar bill. Is it more than who has to do that? No, they oh, or calibrate, yeah. yeah. Can so James they have to calibrate it? You think you can. What's up? So, you know, can calibrate it himself? You think you can. What does he have to calibrate? Because it's the cool door. Right? Oh, you can get it all. You'd be retarded on the front. Mm -hmm. Same brain.
when truck gets bottled enough, they sell them all the way Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just about $600 more. Should have come that DFA has a deal with Michelin America for truck tires. It'd be interesting to see through. They claim it's a hell of a deal. Okay. Yeah. Right now, there's nothing that's a good deal. Everything's expensive. Mm -hmm. Lumber and all that stuff is going crazy. Yeah. I laugh. There's people now on Craigslist. They're doing two dollars a linear foot for used steel. I'm like, I bought some a few years ago, brand new for two dollars a linear yeah. foot. <laughs> it's like, I wonder if any of them ever sound like that, or if it's just. But it's amazing what we used well, to do. Like. That seven sixteenth, almost forty dollars at four by two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nuts. For chipboard. Yeah. Chipboard. Yeah. yeah. Or did not just be one down the wall or something? Is there a 2 by 12 or something? It's 60, 70 dollars. Yeah, for one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said regular good plug. Was it 100 dollars cheap? Yeah. That's oh, crazy. How many were affording to build a house over there? Around just materials, at least 25 thousand dollars for more than they were for. But well, some of them are saying mm. that your the interest rates are so low over 30 years with you. Yeah. But I'm like, well, I don't know, 25 grand. All you do is wait another year, probably, you can save. Things will come back. That will it'll change. Yeah. Uh, well, they put no, all, they, they, they put all this stuff in place they want. They're gonna be taxing this and more taxing that. Mm -hmm. So it may come down. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's not going to come back where it was. Now. Unless you go to a recession or something. Lucia Sawmill is an I've heard he's quit Yeah, he yeah, has nothing up there. But he went through that a few years ago also, so I. So, well, I'm orders and tires. It may take six months to get a set. I was going to say, you probably want to find out how long it's going to be before you get them. Just get it and get it done. You need to shave them, shave them. We were told today, uh, 400 amp entrance, you know, a 400 amp panel, 10 weeks to get those. Windows are 17 oh, weeks. Oh, yeah, what's our generator? So, are you no, that was in, or are you looking at things? Last I talked to was May 1st. That was a few months ago. May 1st has not been checked with them probably for a couple of weeks. Yeah. 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 May 1st? Haven't heard. Let me call back. We're checking around again on prices. No. I would think, yeah, maybe we get them and have them here. Just because uh, all this stuff is nothing. It doesn't seem like there's much of anything on hand. I mean, shipping, I mean, even if somebody has them to get them here, I don't know the co op that we're uh, not getting uh, totes of uh, two and one foot uh, mm -hmm. They were loaded in a truck, they couldn't get anybody to drive the truck. Because they're all you know, on unemployment, they were getting more to stay home than they were to drive up over the road. Weird. Oh, was that your legislature in Mock here decided they should get $50 more on top of the to get plus the federal? Who is it all of that? Yeah. It's like you've got people crying for help, for labor. They can't get them, they can't get them for that. They're scared to get them. Well, it shows. More surely, I understand they need them. Yeah. I find some of that PPG money. Ten's coming in eight. Somebody told me that ten's. They can uh, sell and sell on one of the. I could put kids. He was a solid old employee. I could apply for that. Okay. That's a new one. You should. <laughs> you will. <laughs> now that I'm aware. <laughs> But that, I mean, you can apply, if you're even self-employed, you can apply for it. Are you done, Johnson? Because I paid income tax on last your year. Your list of things? Yeah, I mean, besides Tim coming at 8. We'll okay, so what about the necklace? So what's Tim going to do? Just come tell us what a swell bunch uh, Franklin County development is? Yeah, and then he's going to give us, uh, well, I don't know if he's going to give us, but he's got some 
Not, not free promotion. Sure. <laughs> no. Uh, the necklace. The I'm, necklace. I'm a new business. I would move that. Uh, I guess it's been in our possession for quite a while, but I would move that we let the library take it and, and display it or do something with it. Kind of appraised and put it in a secure place. So it's a necklace that was given to the. So it's from the Consuelo Bayless. They with the. But it was a sister. But it was a sister in the family. It's the youngest sister. Third sister that yeah. who was. And, and Frederica gave it to that to give to put in the library. But at the, the point, the library wasn't. There's a letter in behind it in that envelope about that whole day of that envelope. Of where the necklace came but from. But it all happened. Huh. So Pretty interesting letter. Uh, cool. But the. So anyway, when she got it, the library wasn't made yet. So they put it here, and Linda just came across it the other day in the vault. So. <laughs> Time to do something with it. Yeah, yeah. so uh, she just brought it down to, you know, so the, I guess they all, now they have a place where they can, geez, they got a mallet uh, over there, there is, right? Somewhere in the spirit of Fred Rikos when she was, you know, one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gravel, 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 gravel. Yeah, gravel. Yeah, number two gravel. Yeah, yeah. number two gravel. So huh. I would, I'll make a motion that give it to them, just as long as they appraise it and ensure it, it needs to be. Yeah, I would expect that. Oh, little bit. Uh, right. It is interesting.
birth red thing or whatever, some red thing, you know, and they told them that some of them probably going to have four basic colors in violet. You're, you're going to see. Order, special gonna, order stuff is going to be weak cell base. You're going to see car garages and stuff like that, guys. will just get this stuff and cut out some of it again. Nothing to do with the meeting, but I did go to the Joy Road culvert with the wetland staff in the Army Corps. Mm -hmm. um, and they're working with Reggiano to finish up final plans. Um, so when is that thing actually hoped to be started? This summer, God willing. Um, we're restricted to July 1st, October 1st, through the stream, mm -hmm. in stream. Um, but I, I fully anticipate that this will move forward this summer. Good. I don't know exactly when yet, because yeah. um, as soon as we submit permitting, we have a 30-day comment period. Um, you know, we have to put it out to bid. And, and so I, it'll most likely be a late summer project, but I still do anticipate this happening this summer. And that mm -hmm. culvert mole halfway up the hill towards Do you wear? Are you talking about? Yeah. That one is about plugged halfway up the hill. Mm -hmm. goes past uh, Lawrence Stewart's house yeah. up to Mark says that one halfway up the hill. Yeah. That's one that's got to be either cleaned or changed sometime. Yeah, it would uh, clean it out last summer. I was it saying that with mold there last summer. And did that one stay cleaned out? Yeah, it did. Uh, okay. Cool, uh, the only reason I add, because uh, yeah. Saturday Dennis thought something when we go up with it to look at it more with Mark. He molds something. So we went and visited Lawrence for a few minutes. I laugh when we talk about the ones who won't show up to work. He's 90 years old, laying in bed because he can't move anymore. Pissed off because he can't go out and build a fence and do something. And <laughs> mad. I mean, mad about it, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think his heart's so bad, basically, the pacemaker's keeping him alive. And before we left, I said to him, I said, I want to give you one good piece of advice on this. He said, What's that? I said, Don't let them go buy your batteries for that thing at Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. But I just laugh. The guy's 90 years old. Yeah, he was just, last year he could still get up and do stuff, and this year it's just, it's hard, you can't eat. I was thinking of there was that Bob, uh, Bob Bugby, that has to be built in Tiracol, because that's why uh, I was in the kid. And he was saying when they were kids, Lawrence had a, I thought that was a 1960s, a C60 with a little cab, so he, he said, yeah, we just take them over the islands, put a big load of hay on, rope it all down. It wasn't room enough for them all in the cab, so Lawrence had broke them down on top of the load of hay. <laughs> and they come all the way back, and now there's a snowmobile suits on that in the winter and stuff. Yeah. Can you imagine now if somebody saw a load of hay with three kids tied down on top of it? Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't just give them all in the cab, you know, double deck and triple deck. Well, of course, I think he had Isla with him and a couple of others, and the cab was pretty full. Probably some men that loaded yeah. the hay with and the kids yeah. just brought them along to. Yeah. Get the hay rolled down to them or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, babysit, you know, yeah. Yeah. no babysitting back then much. <clears throat> it's a lot nicer house inside though than I thought it was. As far as fact, Jewelry? Yeah. Stairway going upstairs, though. I said shock. It's like a four foot stair. It goes up, it's an it goes up. Of course, that house, I guess, was rebuilt in the 30s or something. Hey, you guys are yeah, I'm sure that was. Mm -hmm. was it really? it wasn't the original farmhouse. I was going to say it now. It was probably a farmhouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was looking at that house after my father's house. They said that was a farmhouse. Yeah, they yeah. pulled a couple yeah. things together. Like yeah. Fabian Rainbow's house. Yeah, after the stone house burned. The zone as you can see, is a little bit further down the, you'll see it in August when it gets real dry, you'll see the foundation. The foundation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kitchen, woodshed, outhouse is in the back of the woodshed. 
Julie Wolka, they still use their summer kitchen. They do? Yeah. So they still do their uh, canning out there. They eat out there in the summer, and then yeah. in the winter it's cold out there. So. Yeah, they have one up here too, right? In this house? Right there. Uh, the big salt house? Yeah. 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 And one of those. Yeah. John Menor talked about living at Fred Ryan's, and they always talked about in the winter you move into a bedroom with the, where the chimney went up through. And in the summer you move down to a bedroom where it had a breeze. Uh, uh. Well, I suppose back then you knew that you, you didn't have a wood stove upstairs, you wanted to. Yeah. You didn't take a glass of water with you to bed because it'd be frozen. Yeah, yeah. When people go on about that, when we were kids, the windows, I remember, rattle, rattle, you could freeze a glass of water. If you put it close enough to the window, it would freeze. I remember you Snow sleep. alone, keep it cool. I'm saying it was where we slept, it was at home. Yeah. I can remember we'd sit, when my mother cooked, if it was real cold out, you'd leave the oven open. Door down. Yeah. Let that heat come around, and it would go. Of course, I also had an oil furnace, and the only register it went upstairs. <laughs> All the way upstairs. It didn't come to the first floor. Yeah. You mean the uh, yeah, that's that Justin who's just gonna come get her, it's going down to Hodgson. It's supposed to be down there months ago. It you know the trouble that truck is too bad to see it go because it runs. And I went and got it one night. Had to start two years, took Barry out of the brother's truck, just going mm. Then one of them got a bar and they freed up the uh, air conditioning on it. Mm -hmm. Hit the key the next time, vroom, truck took our two flat tires, drove up on Eddie's trail. Hmm. Uh, truck said, it's too bad to see it just jumped out. Well, you know how that goes down, I have no idea. They used to be John Winters. John Winters. John Winters. Swap the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know. 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 What's the receiver? You know, it's a small bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have one. I had one that was a blank. 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 Oh, yeah. around or if you come straight through. What? 
10 miles? Mm -hmm. 10 miles extra? Yeah. You go to Donaldson and Morristown. That's why those dummies with the tractor trailers try it all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. They should make a thing that just rips the trailer right off the truck. When they get there, just there. <laughs> <you're trying. laughs> well, what is the bridge somebody tried going through recently? A wooden bridge. Is it just an empty box truck? Yeah. Oh. Just oh, yeah. try it. Yeah, well, that'll take care of the trailer. That's going to be one of those. Like you you just keep down thinking down. you need a yeah. yeah. yeah, I say it's cosmetic. They got so it did yeah, cause medic damage. With so many down. people like disregarding mm -hmm. the science and still continue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think they would. It's how you sort out stupid people. Yeah. Well, that's going to be quite a When your trailer hits something and you're going 55 and the trailer wants to come to a complete stop, yeah. that's got to put the well, face yeah, close to you, the windshield. When you get up there, it's, it's, really it's tight. tight. Yeah. I mean, it's. I was out. Um, I couldn't imagine trying to have the same thing to be able to do that. Uh, you'd you almost think that, that those not a trucking company was have like a major no. warning. The bank charges. You do not have this area. Five dollar no. Yeah. Yeah. So here it would be surprised. It could be one <coughs> jug of stuff. Oh, I think the Canadian dollar is the other way now. Yeah. Yeah. Four hundred miles a year. And yeah. all of a sudden, watching the GPS and yeah. it says that's a road. Right. They should. Raymond Jetty years ago called McDermott's and he said, Yeah. He said I'm. Tried something different today. Oh yeah, what's up? I'm up in the, went through the notch. I got stuck, what do you want me to get for a tow truck? Get yeah, wherever you want, you're paying. <laughs> Jesus. They talk about it, they used to bear guys up to do it. The biggest problem is if there's a car in the way you're screwed. Yeah. 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 Well, they got a pretty good fine for them now, though, don't they? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, they should put it up to 5,000 or something so that or we could just do a, a adjourn and be done. Tell Tim get recess. Tell Tim come another evening. Except that we can't get a hold of him. I tried sending a message to his wife, but I don't think she has seen it. No. It's always something like that. Oh, something. Nobody on the journey is in. Just not close that close. Oh, I think it's 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 very long. And since we've stopped, oh, like, oh, a few problems. Since we've been on this side, I've had this side. Oh, I mean, there's still. Yeah, I've got a few problems. I've got a few problems.
but there was, really? like, uh, there was a guy at the co-op that worked. I think it was three or four weeks. Last year, he's yeah. finally yeah. one point nobody went to see him, so we got to get that somewhere. And finally, somebody you can do that. Wow. And that one, so he had been writing the check for him. So they knew when it was. You know, put it in. So the Really? Yeah. Huh. Drive those two trucks at the same place, and the other one stayed in spin and that forward just forward. Yeah. Yeah. Like Scotty's been on that truck. What do they call those? Power loop players. Oh, yeah. Hot. Down truck in that. Air truck in the other one. I mean, Pi Gore, I was going to say, you know, the operator. But you would think, you know, like the other ones are the same width. Yeah. But they just got that. You know, the groove in between right. that lets everything, you know, yeah. let yeah. SI everything you all the work. So yeah, it just rolls up the, almost like a track mark trend this way. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I think it's just the, the service. Yeah. You know, the yeah. I mean, the duels are yeah. wide, but they got that space in between, so yeah. whatever goes up and you goes out. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, like the grass or anything, the tandem start going out the trail. The one is always the end. Without the full yeah. circles, sit in and jig. You mean the tow truck? And the other truck would just walk right yeah, through and shoot. Sure. The same yeah. trucks, yeah. same yeah. boxes, yeah. same ground. Because those are the ones that have mud and snow tires on it. But it's a thin inch. Do the floaters go around? Yeah, does that tread and balls have much yeah. life to it? What's the first one you said? We've had a. I think those have been around four or five years. So they're 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 good. Good. I mean, of course, it's the only time we use them this time. Some of the pavement's going to be hard. Oh, on can they recap those ones? Yeah, it's the ball. It's a ball. It's a normal trailer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those guys that have them on, you know, now you know, everybody's got tractor trailers. They get them on their trailers and everything. Yeah, yeah. that's Because mm -hmm. I think those are seven, eight hundred dollars a piece. Well, that's on a super on one one um, rim. Take two tires and make one big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the old grass is not Yeah. So what are they? What are we hearing on money? How much money are we going to get? I know we made a kind of fence down that the recoveries. We made a recovery. I've heard a hundred and ninety. That's mm -hmm. It's yeah. a for direct no, money. Like you know, money. I mean, that's yeah. what it is. So there'll be a, a really dark for that. Yeah. Yes. It's about a hundred dollars for the light green to now so it's a green. Uh, the green the question is, is that's it's not a lot of money, money right? I mean, a hundred and more cover problems. So it's like, so how do we utilize that? Yeah, I think the best thing they have The question is, they do real fast original planning, which they haven't been able to do through money to definitively answer yet, but I said, can we use that money? Because normally you're not allowed to match federal funds. Yeah, I saw the, uh, the you're normally not allowed to do that. Uh, that was my question. That part you see is yeah. I see I that. I'm like, why don't we have the government? And they asked for their yeah. waste water. Well, so said, can we use that cheaper money? Cheaper to yeah, the match for the set of the products. And if that's the case, they didn't try it. We just had to draw a hundred miles. I'm wondering if they won't have some other stuff. Like you said, outside of that. I haven't heard anything you know, yet. I did two days or so. Yeah, everything was all right. It was a lot of money. Two days we got all day long on their dish drive brands. Rolled around. I asked Jim Boda. He said he could. I think it took him three days. Yeah. All the back over there. So that might mean that we could get more. I still think we should get together. We definitely have to stop. He's no help. And he was far behind. So Logan did everything. He could reach over. We talked about it like four years ago. Yeah, like the four years ago, there were a couple of corners. And so we, but that's the way you know, it's got to finally go. Right. Uh, so sure. you got to hand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to do it. So, yeah. And I mean, we do have, so, so we budget that. in our budget $150,000 a year. So Corey's, he's got the, but then we also have a pay to the part of $60,000 or so. As we three quarters of the month. Man, I haven't seen him all. That's me. Because he bought that whole thing. So it's expensive, but if we were to split it equally, we'd have to split it equally. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's a little bit more expensive, but if we were to split it with maybe another municipality. How long ago? One or two, because he bought, I guess they took the one away from. It's it's tough because there's not many big brands out there that are very hard. The only one will be transformed because there are less than two big brands. limits you on what you can do. Safety data. Full of We're going to use five rows that are class two. Corner of the lawn and there's FDs, but it 
see them that's coming down the road. So I just stand out there. Well, it's it's they have a little side. Shift them down the road. I laughed at myself. Yeah, it's expensive. Well, you got top of the hill and he would have that. And then you know, they just years. determined that look in his face. It's just all the punch. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, first, first, first piece, you know. It's I know, and it's just a shit one. You just look at that pair. It's mad like that. It's hard to pick up speed with that. He comes up through and you'd think he was driving a Rolls Royce car, you know, not to hit any bumps with the truck, he would down shit. How was the vacation with the kids? I don't know. I think the next thing that's what Gary put in a RO in at his house, so he was taking full holds, a yeah. whole sack. Yeah. Yeah. You said you went to a lodge? Yeah. 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 Well, Track him, right? Yeah. Like I told him to right when I got home, I was like, I see work on me somewhere. But it was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, so. yeah. We're on the first time in the days, didn't burn a full tank of gas. Did absolutely nothing. Well, you went uh, up there with your bride? Yeah. 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 I haven't, I've never been to stay. 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 I've never been to stay
Yeah, yeah. yeah. we started so. Yeah. I think one day they had two or three trucks in. I know. This is a, you know, 10 cents. That was the one that they made up on the road. This is. Yo, I'm in my personal gear. Who's waiting for my board shit on? Yeah. He was working for somebody in the world. That's right there. That's right there. That's right there. Did he go back to it? Did he work cell phone down here? No. And I understand the point. Oh, for a magnet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's not working there now. I think it's. I think even though you didn't have a set of gear, yeah. I think he did that right here. Yeah, I've seen him walking around the steps on Saturday. Yeah. And, you say, and that's why I was surprised when someone told me that we were there. Until when I called up, yeah. um, I was like, yeah, that's right. I didn't think we would be with these kind of old steps. Well, of course, maybe they have a set of gear. So I was actually really, you know, so I know he was running that scooter. I understand what you're saying. I saw him on that. It was so it was slick that night. I remember I went on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you all this. You're right. Yeah. Are you the one that did it at the door of the truck? No. Oh, well, well no. No. what time is it now? Eight or five? five? Well, I've had an old time. Yep. I don't think you use this Tim that much. So do you want to adjourn and then if he shows up you must do it? Sure. Don't let you guys. I know I'm leaving. <laughs> Another hard day to count tomorrow.